Welcome to the WBP Stars. Welcome to Bonbon. My name is uh, Christophe Ardiquest. I'm the chef owner of the restaurant Bonbon in Brussels. I will present you a few recipes. Um, I will explain you first uh, my project on the uh, BBO. BBO, it means Bonbon Origins. And, uh, I started a work uh, two years ago on the Belgian um, territori territorial uh, recipes um, and I recreated them in a modern way. So uh, today I will present you two uh, recipes, maybe three, it depends the times we have. But one of the iconic uh, recipes in Belgium is the tomate crevette, we call it uh, tomato, tomatoes and shrimps all together mixed with uh, mayonnaise and uh, lemon juice, fresh parsley and everything. So this is, you can check on internet what uh, the tomate crevette is, but uh, today I will explain you the way I use it for uh, my modern way, okay? So actually I have um, usually, uh, Belgian uh, North Sea shrimps are already cooked on the boat. But here, all the, all the fishermen are bringing me the uh, raw um, shrimps. And here you are. This is it. They are small one. They are. Uh, they have a sweet taste. And uh, when they arrive here in my restaurant, they are alive. They are alive, and we are killing them with uh, a nitro to uh, to conserve them in. Uh, in the freezer because or then they're getting brown and they are uh, they, they get oxidation actually this is a belgian techniques we take oh, sorry the second second part of the shrimp and make a little turn like this push on the tail and push on the head they are raw, so usually uh, it's uh, easier to peel them when they are cooked. But there, it's a, a little difficulty to to uh, to develop. So I peel them first. I keep the head of the shrimps. And I will make a juice, a special juice with that, like a bisque, we call it a bisque, with uh, uh, a little bit uh, uh, vegetables, like a classical way, cognac, white wine, and uh, fresh vegetables. And after, I'm going to use the bisque to make the sauce for my, for my plate. It's very important to to do the shrimps uh, two hours in advance but also if you do it the shrimps uh, two hours uh, in advance the meal you have to serve it before uh, five hours or then they are getting they're getting ox oxidated so Peel them, you see, small like this, grey, this is a, really a Belgian uh, Belgian taste, Belgian product, Belgian tricks. I peel them this way. I got only one fisherman was bringing that to me each week. So, here you are. Next step, it's salted. We, we will salting the, the tail of the shrimp. So I take a bit of salt on this way. And I will, uh, I will uh, salt them for one minute, just one minute. Could you put a timer, please, uh, Sergio? Thank you. Like this. 
one minute and after that I will rinse them Please rinse them after the salt one minute look that's it, that's it. Yes. thank you, thank you chef. and after that, they are firm you know they are like uh, a little bit like uh, raw fish you can find in a ceviche ceviche in Peruvian way but uh, I use the techniques for for the shrimp you see and they are still gray they are keeping the color because they are salted and there is no oxidation on it that's that's why the all the fishermen are cooking the the shrimps on the boat because it's impossible to keep it uh, to keep it uh, white or gray like this if you don't cook them okay so I made a look made a little bisque with the head of the shrimp this is uh, just a regular bisque with a touch of uh, uh, raw buttermilk and uh, lemon juice and I'm gonna plate my uh, tomate crevette actually in the classical way it's always a whole tomato stuffed with the shrimps and on my way this is a new version instead of serving uh, cooked shrimps I serve them raw like a ceviche but Belgian way actually On the on the cream, I had the shrimps, gray shrimps. This way, the, the texture is unbelievable because it's, uh, in fact, sweet and uh, there is a tenderness you, you can find usually in the in the cooked one. So after that. Lime caviar, lime caviar to give a, to give a, uh, a kick to the preparation. Usually we find also lemon juice in the classical one. One of my touch, it's put, put in cutting fennel from the garden to bring the anise flavor on the preparation fennel from the garden and actually also fresh tomato in the season fresh tomato when it's not the season we are cooking with preserved tomato from the last summer Today we are still in the summer, at the, almost at the end, but still have tomato. This way. And now, it was important for, more, for me also to create a surprise in this dish. And I want to... I want to hide a little bit the preparation with something we call this, I don't know in English, a voile. It's a little uh, a thin uh, a jelly of uh, preserved tomato and uh, dry tomato all together. And I hide the preparation to make a surprise in this dish. It's uh, something you know, just one element, when you see the plate arriving, you can't imagine what's underneath this, uh, this uh, little foil, natural foil. And after finishing the dish with a bit of caviar to give a very nice uh, level to the preparation, and dill from the garden.
Okay, warm. This is my uh, version of the tomate crevette. Please. Welcome to WBPStars.com. I'm Jean Georges, and today I will uh, show my uh, favorite dish on the menu here at Jean Georges Shanghai. It's an egg caviar. So the first step, we have to uh, crack the egg perfectly. So we're using a, a little device like this. And we're gonna do a little uh, shock wave. And then we crack the eggs. And then we wash the, the inside. So I'm gonna do two eggs. So a little shock. Crack the eggs open. And then this gets washed after we let it dry. Then I'm adding a little bit of uh, butter. About a tablespoon of butter. A pinch of salt. And a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper. So this is ready to cook. In the meantime, we're gonna do some whipped cream. So for the whipped cream, I'm using uh, So we're gonna cook the eggs, put it in the shell. On top, we're gonna add some uh, whipped cream with vodka, lemon juice, salt, pepper. So I'm gonna whip the cream first. So we're gonna whip it until it's nice and firm. I do it by hand, but if you, uh, you can add a uh, in a machine to whip the cream if you like. It's important, I think, when you whip the cream to put it uh, on ice to keep it nice and cold. So cream, when you whip it like that, you add uh, air into the, the cream. I'm gonna whip it until it's nice and uh, nice and firm. So the cream is in much thicker now. A few more minutes. The cream with some salt, cayenne pepper, with caviar the best because this vodka is always a great complement to the. I'm gonna season the cream with a little uh, vodka. Some lemon juice. We're gonna continue to make to whip it until it's nice and firm. We're gonna test it. Add more salt. Add more pepper. So it's like a savory uh, whipped cream. See, almost, almost ready. So when everything is nice and cold, very easy to season. You wanna, there we go. So the cream is ready. Now we're gonna cook the eggs on the stove. So the eggs. You want to melt the butter in the eggs. It's a very soft uh, scrambled egg. You can see the, the butter has melted already. And we're going to cook the eggs in a very soft uh, scrambled egg. You can see the eggs are already getting uh, cooking a little bit. You can see the eggs. I'm going to add a little bit of a tiny bit of butter again to uh, stop the cooking of the eggs. We're going to test it. Make sure the seasoning is uh, right on. 
So we put the cream in a piping bag, and then we have the caviar here. Beautiful uh, golden etc. So the next step is to fill up the eggs. vodka cream right on top so we're gonna leave the center open and then on top we're gonna add a beautiful uh, spoon of caviar there we go egg caviar Hello, welcome. Uh, my name is Robin. Um, I'm gonna make some uh, tartar of uh, black Angus. Um, first, we start with this um, clean, clean it, the, so there's no uh, fat on it, and um, we cut uh, some small uh, slice of it it's for just uh, one person. And we cut it in uh, small blocks. So, uh, the smaller it is, the better the taste of the, of the meat. And um, if some chalot, firstly, uh, cut it coppers. Uh, our fresh made home mayonnaise, salt, pepper, and uh, a little bit of Worcester. Not too much, uh, very heavy. Take a spoon and mix it. We always taste it. A little more pepper. So, now it's finished. We have a ring. Put it in the ring. Now we fresh it. So have some sour cream. It's very nice uh, with uh, caviar. Put it on it. It's a Belgian royal caviar. Um, it has a good taste. Um, very uh, nice. <coughs> so we have the tartar caviar on it. So okay. Uh, we're going to dress it as a first dish, first dish in a Slagmolle uh, menu. First, put some sour cream on it. Our homemade chips. We call it galette. Mm. Right in the middle, we put tartare on it. Gently push it out. This is the first dish uh, on our menu. Welcome WBP. My name is Jan. We are here in the Atelier kitchen in Hotel Barischerhof and we prepare some nice dish. 
with oysters and caviar. So we start with a mayonnaise from, made from oysters. And some crispy rice perks. And a cream with fresh cheese and some herbs. And of course the oyster. It's the oyster from Giado. We poached it in some oyster velouté. Put some chives on top, some crispy bread, croutons and some finger limes. So we make a jelly from, from herbs. Crispy bread. Some nice caviar. Jakob is preparing a crispy breadstick. It's made from spring roll duff and filled with cream fresh and chives. This goes by the side. And we make some oyster tartar mixed with some uh, onion oil and chives topped with some warm potato foam. Yes. Some of the oyster velouté. Some crispy potato. This is dried soy, po soy sauce, dried soy sauce. This is a nice vinaigrette made of whey onion oil and some chive oil. So, we serve it like this. This by side. Enjoy. So, enjoy your dinner in Atelier. Hello, my name is Rasmus. I'm from Geranium in Copenhagen. The next dish here is going to be the marbled hake. Gently salted, gently smoked. We like smoked flavors here in this region. And um, it's a good way to preserve things, but it brings a very great taste, I believe, if it's like subtile smokeness. So we're going to glaze it with uh, a herb oil here on top to make a shiny surface, also to add some fat to the dish and the lean meat from the hake. Then here we have all the good stuff, which is uh, caviar, bleed roe, and uh, juicy and very crispy parsley stems. We have some deep fried uh, crispy hake scales to add a crispy balance. And here we use the left of the stems, which is the leaves, and create this parsley oil. This here is a clarified buttermilk that we, uh, we heat the buttermilk until around uh, 65 degrees and it will split and we use the liquid sour part 
and then we add uh, just a little bit of butter to round it up and that's the base of this uh, sauce I'm also gonna add this oil on top and add everything together on top of the hake please enjoy <laughs> 